What's up everyone, this is Gun Legacy Extreme and I'm here today to do a review on the Tomashi Nation's 2009 00 Gundam Trans Am version Special Clear Edition. Now, um, this is not the 00 Riser and unfortunately I don't have the high grade to compare it to because all my model kits are packed away as I stated before. So, um, yeah, I unfortunately cannot do a comparison between that and a model kit. I actually have no Gundam models. Well, actually, I do have a Gundam model to compare it to, so I could, I can give you a size comparison to a 1 to 100 scale later on. But other than that, I have no other model kit to compare it to, so, uh, give me one second. forgot to grab something else to use as a size comparison for later anyway um but enough of that going over the packaging real quick because um this is a little different from most packagings and yeah you might notice the camera is a little different and uh as i stated in my last video i'm using my iphone to do this recording but um this packaging is, is a little bit different from most robot tamashis as you can't see the figure all tamashi nations Nation uh, exclusive figures never give you a window to actually see the figure. Um, it's just a special designed box, and I really like how this box art looks. Going to the back uh, again, like unlike most um, unlike most Tomashi Nation stuff, there is no backing image either. But enough of that. Let's get this guy out of the box and show you what's inside. And, uh, yeah, I kind, I kind of already had this open to begin with. Uh, I just had to pack it away for, uh, packing because of, uh, as you all know what's going on. But, yeah, here's the figure itself, and this is what you, this is how everything's going to look when you first get in package, except, uh, a beam saber will not be down here. <laughs> and that's what's been keeping this from me, from closing properly. And also you get the instruction booklet. But, uh, t opening up the packaging. And pulling the figure out. Let's put the accessories to the side for now and put the box art, mini box over, off to the side as well. And here he is, the 00 Gundam Robot Damashi Trans Am Clear version. And I love this figure. It just looks amazing giving you the 360 and while I'm at it let me put the beam sabers on just to complete this uh, also uh, there this doesn't come with a GN sword uh, 3 unfortunately uh, if I'm correct I think the GN sword 3 only came with the uh, 00 riser Tomashi Nations exclusive uh, basically, it was the Double O Riser version of this thing. Now, I could have gotten that over this, but that costs seventy dollars. Well, this only costed me thirty. Yeah. But uh, anyway, on to the articulation of the kit. Now that you've seen all the detail, actually, let me get this in a little closer, just so I can give you a look at the face. Cause that face looks really good. There we go. I really like how that face is designed. Th this robot damashi really gets the the, the look of the quant of the double O riser or double O Gundam perfect. Anyway, onto the articulation. Uh, the head can look up oh just about that far. It can look down about that far, forwards and back. Rotate a full three sixty. So it takes a little finessing. And don't worry about breaking any of these V-fins. They're made out of very soft, rubbery plastic. The uh, back of the GN drives cannot move. Well, they can go up and down, but they can't go in and out, which kind of sucks. The GN drives themselves can go back and forward, so you can uh, replicate the very first scene where the 00 gun went and didn't it was initiated. And once you bring the GN drives back, you can get the arms to go a full 360 if you pull them out, out at one point. Otherwise, the highest they can go is that far up. The shoulder armor can move up just a 
bit, and sorry if my angling is a bit off and you can't see some of this, shoulder armor can go up just a bit because the GN drive housing gets in the way. And the arms can go up about that high. They can move around a bit more because they are on a ball joint. But because these GN drive connectors right here cannot move out of the way, it just limits the articulation a bit. And it kind of hurts the figure in my opinion. The elbows will bend at only one joint like the high grade, which eh, doesn't bug me all that much. It bugs me a little, but they go back about that much, which really bugs me. I mean, that just doesn't look right. And uh, just in case I pulled it off camera, up about that far, and then you can break its arm. It rotates at the bicep, and if I'm correct, you can get a little bit of rotation at the wrist. I mean, at the elbow. But though I wouldn't do it because I think you're pulling it out of the socket. Wrists can rotate 360 and do a little bit of a wiggle. The waist can go up and down at, at this part of the torso and move a little bit to the side. And then it can move about that much to the side from the waist itself. Though a lot of the motion you're getting is from the upper portion of the waist. And yeah, the uh, beam saber housings like to... Get stiff and move a lot. There we go. And there. The legs can move forwards about that far. Because the uh, skirt armor doesn't move. It'll just come off. They'll go forwards about that far. Back about that far. Unless, of course, you have the swords in the way. Then, actually, no. Swords don't get in the way at all. And they will bend about that much. Not bad, actually. I really like that. And the feet can go forwards and back, side to side, and turn side to side. Sorry about that. Where was I? Um, oh, yeah. The foot will go forwards and back, side to side, and tilt side to side, just like that. Well, actually, they will only tilt inward. They won't tilt outward. And the toe can bend up. So, yeah. You, you can Once again, excuse me for that fall. Anyway, you can get this guy into some, with the, with all this articulation, you can get him into some pretty dynamic poses. And as I stated, the uh, sword mounts can move. So yeah, you can get him into some pretty dynamic poses. The only thing that kind of sucks is that he doesn't have a wrist joint, so his wrist is always bent like this, which does really kind of suck. But yeah, now getting into the accessories, because he comes with a pretty good amount, as you probably saw. So we'll put him to the side back here while I bring in the accessories. And to start off with, you, you get both of his shields, which they look pretty nice, especially with the clear blades. You can lower them right here, so they move right there, and... Oh yeah, and you can slide them up from back here too. And they will connect to form the big shield. If I can just get them to stay. And they peg right into the back of the arm like so. A lot better than the high grade, I will tell you that much. But unfortunately, unlike the high grade, and yeah, this thing does fall apart just like the high grade. Unfortunately, unlike the high grade, there is no like middle connecting piece, which does suck. And if you want to store them, you can put them on the GN drives via this peg right here. Whoops, I had to focus on the wrong area. This peg right here goes right into that hole and locks it in place. And let's get him. Let's join it back up. So now he's a little bit armed, but he's still not fully armed. He also comes with his GN Sword 2s. And these look really good. 
metallic red handguard right there. Nice blue scope and the bl and clear blade. And as you can see, th I believe this whole thing was molded in translucent blue. This whole part right here, and they just painted over it, which is pretty nice. And they will clip onto the hips like so. So now he's fully armed and ready to go into combat. But of course, unlike the high grade, those handles don't really move. So, if to in order to arm him, you get one, you get four different mount uh, mounts, two, one for each blade. You have this one, so it can mount into the hand to be uh, fueled with GN particles, and you can hold it. Though uh, he also holds it with those. You get a pair of that, and you also get these, which are for the gun mode. You get a pair of these. To change them out, it's as simple as just yanking this out. This is just the dock one, I'm guessing, though. And switching in the new handle. Along with that, you also get a pair of beams, clear pink, for the beam sabers. Which just big and like so. And you get two uh, two sets of hands. You get two uh, weapon holding hands, which um, he kind of got fized. Or, well, fized got double O'd. I should say, he always has his trigger his trigger finger out, but um, unlike Fies, his works because he's hold he'll be he'd be holding a trigger with either hand, with uh, either hand. So yeah, uh, it kind of sucks that he got Fized, and he comes with only for the left hand, one splayed open finger hand, which is cool. Now also, he comes with. The staff mode for his weapons. That way you can just connect both like this and you have him holding his uh, GN Sword 3 staff mode. So that's just about it for this for this guy. Uh, just to go give you a good quick size comparison. Here he is. Next to SH Figuarts Taja Dol combo. If I can just get him all fixed up, stand right, and get him standing. God damn it, I'm really getting annoyed. At least it didn't pop off the base this time. Anyway, uh, just get him standing upright too. So there's the size comparison between him and Tajadol. He is about up to Tasha Dole's neck. And if in case you guys, you Gumpla guys, want to get this guy, I know it's going to be a gruesome sight to behold, but <laughs> it's the only Gundam model I actually still have out. Here he is next to my old dead Master Grade Destiny. Like I said, that's the only that's the only Gundam model I still have out. Well, I saw that coming, but anyway, I'm just about done here. So yeah, uh, if you want this guy, you can get him fairly cheap on eBay. As I stated, I got him from this guy, uh, Yogu Yogurto or Yogurato. I don't remember how his name was said. Uh, for about 32 bucks US US dollars So yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching and I will see you all at my next review